Well, basically, I guess we're going to have to give you a little teaser here until we get our good video started. Uh, our driver just got back from the 3,000 mile road trip. Basically, this is not ever meant for production or continuous use. It was basically just to prove the concept. But uh, our well, we were able to take the car and do what needs to be done with it. We've got a, a device that, that extracts the, the hydrogen from, from water at such a rate that nobody else can compare. We're pulling over 55 liters per minute um, with only 55 amps. So uh, let's take a look at our, our machine in the back and show you what we're doing. Now inside the cab, we have a control panel that allows us to maintain control over the vessel. We can keep our, our hydrogen fl fl flowing and control the flow at which it comes. Let's go ahead and turn on the device in the back. Okay. Now do you want to go ahead and uh, show that we're running it completely out of fuel and that we have no fuel in it? Let's do it. Okay. And the way we're going to do that is real simple. And this is just for all you people that, that think we really need, we haven't run the gas system in about three months now, so bear with us, all right? All right, the fuel has been completely shut off. There is no uh, fuel in, in this at all. Prove it, we'll start it and make sure that any fuel that was left in the fuel rail is burned out real quick. Pumping the gas. Well, gee, Dave. I think it's out of fuel. I don't think there was any in there to begin with. I think you could be, be, be right. In fact, I think your damn tank is empty. Anyway, so anyway, you can see that she ain't running on anything but what we're going to be putting in the tank. Okay, now Dave is going to go ahead and fire up our control right, panel. Put the camera on the vessel. I'm going to put the camera on the vessel. The vessel is on and producing hydrogen gas as we speak. It does require a couple of moments to get up to the required pressure, but again, that's because we have a prototype. Okay, as you can see, we're making all kinds of hydrogen there. What we're going to do is we're going to let our pressure build up here a tad. You can see we're drawing about 50 amps and our pressure is starting to rise. Okay, Dave. What was our pressure at when you were peeking in there? Oh, about 5 psi. All right. Just, just, a, just a hair is all we need more time and we'll have that up to pressure and we'll start it up and pick it up on the box for you. Okay, sounds like a good plan. Hey, I get to ride this time. <laughs> I hate uh, taking pictures and uh, driving and, driving and the uh, same time, manipulating yeah. the control device. We had some comments about that. <laughs> and see, we have such, such helpful neighbors right there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and open up the valve so we can purge our HTO system. <coughs> okay, so you can see that it spills out all the water as soon as we purge the H2O system. And we're gonna let the pressure come up a little bit. <coughs> okay, I think we've got enough going to start today. We're running a little low. Oh my! Well, it started right up. Hey. Basically, you see the battery isolator that separates the deep cell battery from the vehicle battery. We're gonna let our, now that our alternator is running, our pressure is going to build up. Yes, our fuel is completely off. We're running on just totally hydrogen. I'm going to go ahead and button the hatch right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're okay. As you can see, we're just producing all kinds of gas. You can see our little pulse wave modulator over there just doing its thing. Hopefully, there we go. Again, the vessel. Looking good, silly good.
Okay, now we're gonna go for a little drive. You wanna wait till it gets up to low pressure? Oh, be showing the gauge. now we're camping. We've got a lot of in your annular space since we got the water. I don't so think I filled it quite as much as I should have. So That's all right. Bottom. It'll work. It'll work. Okay, please take note that we had a whole bunch more space than we normally work with because we've been uh, messing with our vessel that was just trying to uh, we had to take a sample of the electrolyte to make sure that we don't have any contaminants like we have some foreign metal in our 316L stainless steel all those little things we're trying to do this as laboratory like as our finances permit uh, we should be fun, uh, fully funded in the next three weeks oh, yes, so you we can do. expect a whole lot of good things from us like I say this is shareware we're doing this for nothing, just for the planet, for our grandchildren, and for so our children can stop dying for stupid oil. All right, what do you say? We got enough to do. Let's, we got enough to go. Let's go take a drive. Let's run over your neighbor. All right, let's run my neighbors. No, let's not run over the neighbor. Okay. He's a little simple, but you know. All right, I'm coming back here. Oh look, we still have no gas in the gas tank. Now this probably would be an issue, mind you. Except that we don't need gasoline in this vehicle anymore. Now if you're listening, if you're going to hear it, it sounds a little different than it does with the gasoline, and that's probably because our timing's not perfect, but our ability to move the vehicle without any gasoline is what we're talking about. Our ability to produce enough HHO to power a full-size vehicle, uh, your, your generator, your coal-fired power plant, whatever it is the application is going to be drawn for, um, we're producing more HHO gas than then, anyone else in the world. Then we have proper measurements for. In <laughs> fact, now our poor, poor little uh, 120 uh, cubic feet per hour meter pegs as soon as we run it up to 30 psi, which is what you're supposed to run it at. And uh, we just overwhelm it, so we really don't know where we're at. When we get down to the production unit where we can pull this one out and dissect it and find out where we're at, things are going to be a lot different. See, we're building pressure nicely. Even as we're moving forward and accelerating, we're still building pressure. In fact, this vessel will continue to build pressure until we're really maxing out on load and moving the vehicle up a big hill with the air conditioner on and maybe towing a boat we might have to beef it up a little bit more for that. But right now we can continue to build pressure to the optimum range and we can cruise the vehicle at any speed in any condition that you like. Now the vehicle runs runs okay at about 20 psi. 60 psi seems like it has all kinds of power. We're, we're probably at least 20 percent better than we were with gasoline because we're injecting oxygen along with the hydrogen which is just like nitrous oxide without the nitrogen. We'll just take a quick loop around the block here. Fuck that. In fact, I had so many problems on the 460. It was so touchy. It was one of the uh, 99, and it was one of the first uh, units that was actually uh, tune port injected. And anyway, it was so touchy that you just touch the throttle and would take off like a big ass dog in a hurry going after a bitch in heat. Let me tell you. <laughs> See, the drivability is great. We have no production issues. We have no gas issues. We're not running on any gas. In fact, we hate the smell of it. We've been away from it for so long. So could you please stop asking about it, okay? <laughs> as you can see, as she heats up, we gained a little amperage. Now, we did have a problem with our uh, pulse wave modulator. A little screw fell out of the heat sink, shorted out part of the board. Basically, the frequency stayed put, but uh, we, we lost our voltage adjustment, our gain adjustment for our carrier weight. So what we've done is we've adjusted, basically we're almost pure water in the vessel, no potassium hydroxide, and we're still pulling almost 70 amps, which is a little harsh. Now we do get better production at 3 volts at 55 amps than we do at uh, 70 amps at 10 volts. But we make so damn much that the vehicle only takes 11.9. Now that was measured with two flow meters, with a bottle of hydrogen and a bottle of oxygen before we even started making the generator. 
before I even mounted it in the truck, I wanted to make sure that I could at least achieve 11.9 cubic feet per minute. We've achieved that by a fold. Now let's take a look at the road in front of us for a moment and see some hills and dips. I'm going to try to uh, stomp on it a little bit and see if we can watch the hydrogen get consumed through that gauge. See, you see just a very, very slight deviation. In fact, it was right in the middle of a cycle, we determined it was below 60, went ahead and turned itself back on. We're cycling under full throttle, so we have an abundance of hydrogen and oxygen. Now, the only reason that we're going back and we're doing this video is all for all you skeptics. We're not out here to sell something to you. We're not out here to cheat you out of anything. We're just trying to help you with your projects. We stumbled across the things that help us. We posted them on the website. And anybody that has any aptitude whatsoever as far as hand tools, electrically, and what have you, should be able to put one together that operates. The more people we get out there with these units that are working, the better off we're all going to be. Because believe me, I haven't felt safe lately. Have you, Dave? Not at all. Uh, the men in black are a real concern for anybody who is doing this for um, our capitalistic reasons, as uh, which is where we're moving to next. So this yeah. is all free and shareware now, but the idea is we'd like to uh, perfect this and we'd like to move it into production uh, for vehicles, for home, for, for machines, for power plants, for any ap application that's currently abusing fossil fuels, we'd like to eliminate that and start using the most abundant, uh, na the natural resources in the world, hydrogen. Well, we have so much hydrogen, I'm just going to shut off the generator and let's, let's cruise home on what we got in the vessel. What do you say? Now, this is for all those skeptics that say you got to have mass quantities of hydrogen. Now, we're going to cruise home on what we got in the vessel. And that's what we're cruising on. <laughs> <laughs> so I can show you that it actually was producing. See, now we've gone from 60 to 50 just going underneath the bridge. As you can see, it's going to get dismal. We're starting to go below, so we're going to go ahead and turn it back on. Um, yeah, yeah, we still got some power issues. Got more of that on. I hope you enjoyed your little test drive. We're going through a school zone here. Dave, remember that that's 15 miles an hour and some mother might uh, take a gun out of her handbag and shoot you because you know Arizona has passed. You don't got to have a concealed weapons permit. I'm kind of worried about my mom. She's been so anxious to use her. Got her concealed weapon permit. She has nobody to shoot. Anyway. So come on out and see the, the vessel. If you don't call us first, you might be the one she gets to shoot. Now the 21st we have a get together for all those people that are interested in pre-investment. Like I say, we're not out to make a million dollars or anything else. Basically we just need to fund our research so that we can continue these works. If you don't think that they are works that are worthwhile, holler at us, let us know. Absolutely. We're, we're coming at, at, at you from future future energy concepts. We're coming at you with integrity and, and honesty showing you what we've got. If you want a closer view, Come on out and see us. We'd love to show you what's going on. Thank you, Dave. Thank this, you, Fred. This is Dave and Fast Freddy, and we'll be signing out, and I'll be posting this very shortly on YouTube for all you people that wanted to uh, get some more information, some more video. The new video is coming, I promise. We just got to get this thing repaired so it's in operational condition for the 21st, and then we'll finish up our professional video for you. Anyway, this is Fast Freddy and Dave. Signing off.